Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon, this rather rainy day. Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 16. Whoever is naive, let him turn in there. And to him who lacks understanding, she says, and then it stops. So, Whoever is naive, and we've met the naive one before, to be naive is to be without the ability to consider and reason in a way that will be best serving yourself and those around you. They're without the right kind of information to evaluate. They're so single-minded in their perspective that they can't see beyond what they want out of a situation. And so they are drawn into that place of naivety because no one has ever helped them understand or they have only ever been unwilling to not understand. They refuse to accept what people had to say and therefore they have stayed unable because they are unknowing and therefore they are naive. And the naive one is easily distracted by this boisterous woman uh, who um, calls to her and uh, draws them into her and it says let them as it were turn in her or turn towards her and that's because they are easily distracted are you easily distracted are you naive are you willing to listen both to God and to the people around you who are trying to help you so easy to just dismiss because we don't feel like it, or that's not what we think. Well, the people that aren't willing to listen will never learn, and they remain naive. And then it kind of shortens the sentence, really. And it says, and he who lacks understanding, she says. So she, that's wisdom, uh, wisdom's enemy, foolishness. Foolishness identifies those who are without this understanding. And she uh, clearly picks them out. It's a bit like the runt of the litter or the last kind of deer in the pack, as it were, that uh, sense of vulnerability. This foolish one, this boisterous one, she identifies exactly the ones to choose, the ones to pursue. And uh, we might ask ourselves the question sometimes, why is it that people just keep re revisiting the same problem generation after generation after generation? It's this sense of vulnerability in society, vulnerability in culture, vulnerability in spiritual understanding. And this boisterous one, this one who is filled with folly, who lures, is looking out for those most vulnerable. Make sure you're not one of those vulnerable ones. Make sure you're always prepared to listen. Make sure you're always willing to learn, to hear people, because then you will best serve yourself in the possibility of gaining a resource that will overcome when this whisperer, this boisterous one, looks you out. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great afternoon. and I'll see you tomorrow.